this is Leo. He is the love of my life. I need to make an updated video with you, Leo. Look at him. He's falling asleep. Leo, Mama went to Sephora. You want to see what I got? Um, ooh, I've been hauling makeup throughout the month. So I cleaned out my makeup storage a couple months ago. I filmed that for you guys. I decluttered, deorganized, threw out a lot of stuff that I didn't want. And I really, really wanted to buy things that I really wanted to try or that I really wanted to love to replenish my makeup collection. I want to do a separate drugstore haul for you guys because there's a bunch of drugstore items that I really, really want to try. The reason why this is overflowing is because some of my makeup haul I got from Sephora online and then some of the makeup stuff I went into the store so that's why I just shoved everything in that bag but to any hoosies let's get started when your face is good it is the perfect canvas to put on makeup your makeup will just look so much better so take care of that face so I want to go over the skincare I got four things well kind of like three things two of these are Clinique these are so good it brightens your skin it makes you look amazing so it has like a seal on the top right here and then it has like a little date on the side so you could put the date that you open it and it lasts seven days but a really good tip is i like to put mine in my skincare fridge and i like to use it for two weeks maybe stretch it for a little bit longer if i feel like it's still good that's just a good tip if you don't have a skincare fridge, put it in your refrigerator. When you do your skincare routine, you put a couple of drops in your moisturizer and you put it on your face and it makes you freaking glow. If I know I have like a special event or something like that, I use it like before. The Clinique Dramatically Different Hydrating Jelly. I remember getting a sample of their hydrating jelly. I absolutely loved it, so I decided to pick up a big one of these. My skin just drinks it up. It leaves me just feeling nice and fresh and hydrated. So important to get a good moisturizer. So love that. Glam Glow Glow Starter Mega Illuminating Moisturizer. I've never used this before. I do have a Glam Glow product. I'll put it up here. It was their like yogurt face mask and I loved it it made my face look so glowy and beautiful that i wanted to try another glam glow product because i'm out of that uh face mask so i decided to go with their moisturizer i don't know if you guys can see oh that feels so good oh my gosh whoa let me put this down i don't know if you guys can see the difference but this one just it just gives it a little bit of a glow very moisturized and then this is without it i love glam glow products this already feels amazing i just already know that it's going to be fabulous let's get into z makeup this is my favorite the clinique even better foundation if you guys have been with me since the beginning you know that i absolutely love the clinique even better foundation it works the best it looks so good I'm gonna take a little bit on my hand it has SPF 15 in it and I know I have like makeup on right now but like look at I usually use like a beauty blender but you can also use your fingers like it just blends in so well it's the perfect consistency like it's not too thick it's not too thin it's buildable coverage it just looks really really nice i always say i have no idea how people are not raving about the clinique even better foundation because it's flipping amazing i have been wanting to try the hourglass seamless finish foundation stick but i've held off because it is been pricey but i decided to why not get it during the vip sale laura lee raved about this foundation stick she always reaches for it and i love a good foundation stick just because it's easy i got vanish shell i think that's the color oh no the color is shell Ooh. Ooh, feels good. Looks good. Looks like a nice. Oh wow. Ooh, that's nice. Oh yeah, I like this. Ooh. Okay. 
I love it when I spend a lot of money and I get what I pay for. Definitely a good purchase. Thank you, Laura Lee, for recommending that. I love, love this. This is a Too Faced Born This Way Super Coverage Multi Sculpting Concealer. I'm pretty sure I got it in the wrong shade. I got it in a shade that's way too light. And guys, you know how much I love this? I love this so much that it's my third bottle. I use them as concealer. I also use them as foundation. I use the light beige one as concealer and foundation because it just matches my skin tone perfectly. I have warm beige for like uh, when I'm tan over the summer and I decided to get a lighter one. This one's almond, this new one that I got and I figured this could be like a brightening concealer for like when I'm super pale. I just love these. The consistency is so nice. Look at that. Look at that. I got so many responses telling me to try Selena Gomez's Rare Beauty Liquid Blushes. And I got this one, the color Grace. Apparently, it is like so good. Take my beauty water. Oh my gosh, this is so pretty. Wow, this is beautiful. It just blends so well with all the other makeup that I have underneath the blush and it dries down like a beautiful powder. Wow, highly, highly recommend. Please go get your hands on the Rare Beauty. So yeah, the Selena Gomez Rare Beauty blushes, everyone was raving about it and now I understand why. Like, hello. Okay, don't judge me guys. But I got one, two, three of the Too Faced Lip Injection Lip Plumpers. I got one in their Maximum Plump and I got two in their Bubblegum Plump. Disclaimer, these burn like a mother, but it plumps your lips so good. Never tried the bubblegum one before. I already have like a little bit of lip product on, but I like rub it in. Ooh, I already feel the burn. I don't mind the size of my lips. The reason why I use lip plumpers is because my lips are really like wrinkly. When I use a lip plumpers, it kind of like smooths out the wrinkles on my lips. I don't know. Yeah, I have really wrinkly lips and I have really wrinkly like hands. So if you guys have not tried this, you need to try this. This is the Fresh Lip Treatment. It has SPF 15. It is in the color Rose. So pretty. I'm just gonna put it. it. Gives you like a nice, beautiful tint. It smells like Fruit Loops. My natural lip color is a little bit dull. It's a little bit purpley. So like, I like to put a little pink on my lips because otherwise I look like I'm not alive. Better than sex waterproof mascara from Too Faced. They have the pink bottle is the original bottle, which I love. It's a giant, big, fluffy brush, and it really just gives you that volume, that thickness, and the length. I have very short, stubbly lashes, so this is like the perfect kind of mascara for me. I love the pink one, so why not get the blue one? This is one of the like OG makeup setting sprays from like back when I was a kid on YouTube. A lot of people still talk about it. Fix Plus from MAC. It is supposed to hydrate, set, and refresh your makeup so you your makeup can last up to 12 hours. How do you open this? There you go. Boop, 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 boop. It's like a... Ch -ch -ch. It 
it smells very fresh i bought the small one because i'm not sure if i like it or not every time i buy new makeup i always buy the smaller size if i like it then i go back and buy the, the bigger size but if i don't like it then i didn't spend that much money buying the bigger size my birthday was back in february but i never picked up my birthday gifts if you go into the sephora store you can pick up your birthday gift afterwards I always miss it on my birthday. They had a few options, but I decided on the Laura Mercier. Actually, <laughs> I'm so stupid. I probably should pick something else because I'm just remembering that I already have it. So yeah, I do feel though that with it being so pricey there i'm sorry i don't mean to flip you off but with it being so pricey i do feel like there are other setting powders that do the same thing maybe a little bit better and are less pricey because i do feel like after a while my face does get kind of oily with this powder but some other powders doesn't get as oily so just saying but i do like that i have a smaller version of it so i can travel with it because this big old one like is really hard to travel with and then it came with this eye color what is this oh so this is like a stick cream eyeshadow i'm not a big fan of cream eyeshadows because i feel like it makes my eyes oily so that was my beauty and makeup haul. Um, thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today. Again, I will link all of these products that I purchased today down below. Just in case you guys are in the market of checking out some new products or trying out some new stuff. Please don't forget if you like this video, if you like my content, if you like me, to rate, subscribe, and comment. I hope you all have a wonderful, fabulous day. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!